Hello, I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Air. Today we're going to talk about the new and available Raven R18. It has Vertical technology. Stick around and find out. We're going to open up this little thing right here so you can see exactly what's going on with this Vertical. I know today I'm wearing camo, but I'll tell you, the hardest thing to see in the room is the actual axle to axle of this crossbow. You're going to run into a lot of unique things with this because the limbs actually go up and down instead of outside and in. At only about four and a half inches wide, this crossbow is unbelievably compact. This crossbow comes with an attachable, detachable buttstock. The reason for that is you can use it as a pistol or you can use it as a full crossbow. The full length from front to back is about 27 inches, give or take, with the butt it's extended. Without it, you're just over about 19 inches. Height on the crossbow, we're going to measure from the handle to the top of the cam, is right about one foot. The Raven R18 comes with its own quiver, three arrows and field points. It nests into the actual stock and clips with a little clip here in the back. So as you can see, all you have to do is you can put this, mount this on the right or the left, but it actually nests inside of the buttstock and then slides into a groove to make it secure. One thing to note with the R18 is it has its own arrows. You should not be using anything other than the arrows that are made for this bow, nor should you use this arrow for any other bow other than this bow. This R18 in the compact package puts out 330 feet per second, and it does that through a 13 inch draw. The Raven R18 comes with yet another pro small profile feature, which is an integrated Picatinny rail with a Raven three dot red dot sight. You have in here an integrated handle that slides and clips into the buttstock and your typical, like any other Raven, cock and decock features. And onto the limbs, if you look at this thing, man, does it look strange. It goes up and down instead of left and right. It's got all kinds of weird stuff going on here. Talking cool factor with this bow. If you look, I've already loosened this. The Vertical technology, as promised, can now be seen. Look at how this cam and this Vertical works. You can just see string wrapped around, string wrapped around. It's, it's so tight in there, it's unbelievable. And I'm going to leave that open while I cock it so you can see. Wouldn't recommend taking this off when you're at home, that's to protect you. However, inside here you can actually see it go. So with a typical Raven, there's a button underneath that you're going to hold, releasing your trigger box taking it all the way down to your string. You hear it audibly click, and then you're ready to install your draw handle and begin drawing the bow. It is actually possible to not have the click if you hold the button. The only thing you got to think about there is, is if you let go, it will go. Uh, so be either very careful or just go ahead and have the clicking and get used to it. Look at all the tension on that building up. So now that I'm about halfway, I want to show you this because it's on the inside as to where that string is going. And if you watch, it just starts rolling right around that vertical as more and more tension builds all the way till you hear the final clicks and you are cocked and ready to go. Unlocking the compact design, what you're going to see is with those limbs fully cocked, they went down. And so now, you can see all of a sudden your optic is now well in view. And what you're going to notice when you hunt with this crossbow is unlike any other crossbow, you could actually get right up next to a tree and fire this thing. And there's no way that those limbs are kicking out or anything to hit that tree. It's going up, not to the side. To decock this crossbow, you can either do it the old fashioned way and shoot your arrow into a target or the ground, uh, hopefully a deer. But if you were not successful, you can also decock it by slowly letting down on this handle. Now all of the pressure is on this handle and if you need a chance to break, you gotta release this little lever under here on the bottom uh, so that this doesn't snap back at you. But if you do let go while you have that other one there, this bow could get away from you. So just be mindful of that. It's like any other Raven, no big deal if you know what it is that you're looking out for. Always leave a little bit of extra tension at the end and then you can remove your handle and take your trigger box off your string.
Thank you for joining us for the Raven R18 with Vertical Technology. Raven, as you can see, yet again, has proven that they are leaders with technology and they have the cool factor. Brand new technology, brand new bow, higher end price point with that, but you get the best, most cutting edge stuff that you get. I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Air. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.